Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. Create a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a PowerShell runbook I created for Microsoft Intune. Recognize as MSPs, we have a lot of customers that we go and centrally manage here. And Microsoft hasn't come out with the multi-tenant management capabilities here for any of their suite. But especially for Intune, I find it very cumbersome to go into each tenant, set up the same policies, applications, settings, things like that. For each tenant across the board it's very tedious and time consuming so that's why i created this runbook here for a lot of the settings that i think you guys would want out of the box and this includes some of the hardening policies that you would want as well too that i mentioned in earlier videos for securing microsoft into so i'm going to i'm going to run through these here and then i'll run through the actual runbook and show you what this does in a test tenant that i have set up here so what we're doing here is we're listing and creating functions for all these things that we're creating here. First and foremost, we're creating white labeled terms and conditions that grabs the tenant name. So whatever the customer name is there, and I'll show you that after it's created. We're creating a device compliance policy for Windows, iOS, iPad, Android for work, Android device owner, and Mac OS. We're creating a Windows 10 endpoint protection profile for silent big blocker encryption with the Azure AD credentials. We're putting the 365 Business Suite on Windows 10 and Mac OS devices. We're configuring the Office Suite for iOS and Android, which encompasses Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Teams, Outlook, and OneDrive. We're also pushing out the Microsoft Authenticator app as well too for two-factor authentication. We're creating an app protection policy for Android and iOS without enrollment. So this allows you to leverage the MAM policies so that users don't have the ability to cut, copy, paste, or save as to unmanaged applications. And lastly, here we have Windows Information Protection Policies with or without enrollment. So this is basically the same kind of concept here where you're protecting the applications and the data within those applications and not allowing users to cut, copy, paste, or save as to outside applications like Gmail, for instance. So I've gone ahead and I want to show you this tenant here that we have that we're going to be using as a test case. So within here, I don't have any compliance policies stood up yet for any device platform. I'll actually go in this section here to show you that there's no compliance profile set up here. We have a couple of uh, configuration profiles set up, but there's none for Windows endpoint protection, which is the one I'm going to set up for BitLocker encryption. If I go into the app section here, under all apps, we have a couple again set up, but none of these are the ones that I'm going to implement, which encompasses the Office Suite for all of the platforms there and the Microsoft Authenticator app. I've also got no app protection policy stood up in this tenant either. It's brand new. And under the terms and conditions, I don't have any terms and conditions either. So we're going to be running through and just running this script here, and then I'm showing you the results. So here I'm just going to copy this script, I'll grab the link so you guys can have it and you'll just copy the whole script and you'll go into PowerShell as administrator and run the script here and it'll load up everything, it'll take just a minute, it's over 3000 lines so it just takes a minute to fully load here. Then after we're fully loaded here all you have to do is hit enter and when you do it's going to ask for your global administrator UPN for the tenant so this will be the global administrator in the customer account. And then it'll have you sign in if you're not already. And now lastly here, you'll want to make sure like it's checking for the Azure AD module to be installed. So if you guys don't already have that, just do install dash module Azure AD and consent to all the untrusted repository messages, things like that, because you'll need those commandlets for this to be able to run. And then lastly here, what it's asking for is an AD group where the policies will be assigned. So I basically made it so that you can assign all these policies to one group. And typically you're going to create this as all users so that it assigns all the policies, apps, and everything like that to all users. If you want more granularity, obviously, you can go back in after the fact and change who it's assigned to, uh, but at least you'll have all the policies set up. I can change that if there's enough feedback for me to say you want to be prompted to say what group it is for each individual policy. I just wanted to be this as, as light touch as possible. So I'll go ahead and type that in. It's just the display name of the group itself. You don't have to put in the full SMTP address. 
So when you do that and hit enter, it'll start running through here and grabbing all the policies and profiles and applications and start assigning them out. And then when you're done here, it'll just give the ASCII of the logo again, and it's gone through and did all that. So let's go ahead and check into the tenant now to see the changes. So we're back in the tenant here, and I'm just gonna run through all the policies that we created in the applications and things like that. So first we have our terms and conditions here. I'll go ahead and click on that just to show you the messaging that I've created here. So we went ahead and grabbed the display name of the tenant and populated it so it's white labeling the messaging that you're using. So you're basically acknowledging this messaging here, and this is just straight from Microsoft as well too, as far as an example of a template you would wanna use. You can customize the messaging though if you really wanted it to say something different. And then if we go into the devices section here, we'll go under the, the compliance policies. You'll see I have the compliance policy set up now for every platform and including the work profile and device owner for Android. Within each one of these here in the properties, I've gone ahead and listed in the description what it's actually configuring here so that you know exactly what it's turning on for a required uh, compliant device. And then here it's always marked a device non-compliant immediately. So a lot of these you can review what the settings are and you can configure the JSON in the output if you guys want to use it for something differently. But I'd be interested to hear what else you guys would want as part of these uh, initial setups here. So we have our endpoint protection profile here now as well. This is the silent bit locker encryption. So we are requiring encryption and we're doing the automatic enrollment. And then under the app section here, go under all apps. We've got all of the apps that we've added here for iOS and Android. And you'll notice it's got Authenticator, Excel, OneDrive, Outlook, PowerPoint, Teams, Word, everything like that. So we have everything configured here from the app standpoint. And then the protection policies, we've got our MAM policies here for iOS and Android. And then we've got our Windows information protection for both MDM enrolled and the devices that we don't enroll as well too. So that's everything that I wanted to show for you guys here as far as the configuration goes. I hope this helps you guys from the standpoint of automation when you onboard a new tenant to Intune. Love to hear again any feedback you guys would have as far as common deployments that you would have or anything like that. I recognize that an RMM tool would be something that you want to probably configure here but everybody's using something different, so that would get a little bit custom. So, but otherwise, I would, I would love to know anything else you guys would want to add as part of this runbook. So feel free to comment that below or any questions or comments. And otherwise, please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and Intune in the modern workforce. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.